Hello there, and welcome back again to another wonderful episode of Fear the Walking Dead as we're going to talk the discussion for tonight's uh, Season 6, Episode 6. You caught me in the middle of getting a drink from my wonderful Dead Nightmare Tumblr just real quick. I just want to show you guys this. This is pretty badass. So I have a zombie series too on um, my channel called Dead Nightmare. But what was really neat is I was able to get my images actually on here. I had kept having all these tumblers, and you always wanted to have something kind of you know, kind of artsy with some of the stuff I've been doing. And anyways, I was able to get them all printed on here. This is high quality stuff, guys. This is from Shutterfly. I make nothing from Shutterfly. I have no ads with them, this or that, whatever. But I, I was very impressed. Anyways, if you get a chance, check this out. I might actually get some of this merchandise on my channel in case you're ever interested. If you really, really love my series and I'm going to have some like magnets, I have pictures, uh, these photo tiles that are pretty badass. They're on tin and they're super glossy. They look great. Anyways, we got all that. So, but welcome back. We're talking Fear the Walking Dead. Again, this is episode six, and it's called The Barrier Next to Jasper's Leg. Now, we find out straight away why this episode is called that, because uh, it seems a woman who is part of Virginia's colonies is on the move and trying to get away from Virginia and them, but it seems she might be a little bit more sinister than we're just thinking that maybe she's innocent as she finally plummets to the ground and Virginia and her lawmakers catch up. And we find out that this woman, it seems to be, uh, it's presumptuously, that she is part of this doomsday call. The beginning is the end. I'm just gonna call them that because I don't really know what else to call them. And, you know, she has the spray paint, you know, she's pretty much dead to rights, is what we can tell. And before Virginia can get any information out of her, she ends up taking her own life because she manages to get one of the pistols away from one of the lawmen. Total rookie move for the lawmen, but hey, it happens, I guess. And so she kills herself. So now we see how these fanatics are really, you know, ruling their people. I mean, they are dedicated to this cause and willing to take that cyanide pill or bullet to the head, if you will, if they're about to be compromised. And so this is some serious stuff, you know, like, and I don't, I don't really care for Virginia at all whatsoever. I mean, she's not a great leader. She treats her people like cattle, which is awful. But no doubt, I mean, there, but there's a lot of our friends that are going to be affected by this, and they are affected tonight in this episode. Pretty solid episode. Let's get into it real quick and just talk some of the fun stuff. So starting off, we get a chance to see June and Sarah. So we didn't know where Sarah was all this time. Some of my uh, people that watch the show were wondering, where did Sarah and Wendell go? Did they just leave the show? This and that? Well, no, they are still with the show. We find out about Wendell a little later on. But for Sarah, she is basically being the assistant to June in her little triage unit. They're using one of the long uh, rig trucks to uh, basically drive around from settlement to place and try and help people as fast as they can. And I thought that was really neat tonight to actually see June in action and actually see what she has to go through to try and help people with a much more serious uh, ailment. And so he, they get to a guy, and I'm already, I think his name was Malcolm, if I'm not mistaken, but either way, this guy has got, he has a burst uh, uh, appendix, which I don't know anything about, but it looks super painful and it sounds super deadly too, if not taken care of like immediately. And I think the problem is, is they get there a little too late. And June, she's dedicated to the cause, you know, and it was like I said, it was fun to see her kind of like trying to play doctor. I mean, she was a triage uh, nurse, so she definitely has some skills, but you know, actually being able to get in and start, you know, cutting the flesh and taking out certain things and not, you know, there's so many things that can go wrong. Even for doctors that know what they're doing, things go wrong. So pretty cool seeing all that in action, I do believe. And it was also cool to see Sarah kind of almost lose her lunch there for a second. She's like, yeah, I'm good. You know, she's swallowing and holding that book open for her. But uh, pretty intense scene when, that's not, when he comes back to life. And man, that did not take long for that guy. I know we've always learned that... Uh, not everyone turns at the same rate. I mean, it is fairly quick, but man, his, it didn't take long. And I guess if you can't get him back, it's like say good day to Reggie Ray. It is an interesting concept though. I wonder, you know, well, I guess there's not too much to dig into it because I guess he was pretty much dead, but what is that? What's that gray line or what's that black and white line where it's like, oh, nope, too late. You're going to become a zombie or no, you can still come back. You're not going to become a zombie. That's kind of an interesting thing that they've never really totally gotten into on the show. So a little side thought there. But furthermore, the big, big event that happens tonight, there is an explosion at the gas factory where Luciana has been working for a very, very long time. We haven't seen hide nor hair of her. All we know is we left, we left her there. She said, I will help you run this gas factory. I know the, the ways. Well, something bad goes down. An explosion. Many, many people killed. Many people hurt. Some people have turned inside the complex. Virginia shows up with a couple of her crew. John's there because John is uh, watching over Sarah. 
and June tonight since uh, one of the guys overslept or whatever and John has an ulterior motive because he wants to grab June and get out that's so he on the way there he said I want to talk to you right and so he told her basically I'm not gonna last in this colony much longer and you can see it man John's looking rough you can totally tell that the death of Janice and him not being able to come through the way he wanted to to help and save her it's eating him alive literally and so um, he wants to get out. He wants to try and make it to their cabin about 100 miles away. He thinks they can make it there uh, by the, the, the truck. But for the most part, they maybe have to hike the last 10 to 15. I mean, a decent enough plan. Virginia probably wouldn't find them because that's a lot of area to cover if you're to, you know, take out a circumference, like which way, which direction did he go? But, you know, he's, he just doesn't want to stay. In June, you can see she's not fully on board. She's kind of, kind of not. And then, you know, as the episode kind of moves through, then suddenly she's like, I'm going to get in there. We're going to help these people. And then we're out of here. Man, if only things were that simple, and you know they never are. So anyways, let's fast forward. They get into the complex. The cool uh, things that happened in the complex, it was neat kind of seeing uh, just everything in full disarray. I mean, you had the uh, the oil uh, spewing out of the, the huge setup or whatever, right? It's like the burst line or whatever, and it's just going. And Luciana's like, this could go for months. It could go for, you know, who knows? It depends how much oil is down there, right? And, you know, all Virginia's worried about is getting it closed off and trying to, you know, fix it. Because that's that's her lifeline, pretty much. That gas is. And they've all been driving around, doing as they please. You know that was going to be a short-lived thing. And so as they get throughout it, they find Wes. Okay, Wes was the guy who liked to paint a lot. He kind of had that bond with uh, Ali uh, Alicia, right? And so they find him. He's got a piece of shrapnel in him. And, you know, it's just, uh, Virginia decides she wants to play interrogation. So, uh, or interrogator, I'm sorry. And so basically she's like down there and she's pushing the shrapnel into his stomach further. You know, he's almost at death's door and June knows this and he sees that she sees this. And so she manages to push the drugs into him just in time. And you can see Virginia and June are not jiving on this episode. I mean, Virginia, we know how, how devious she is. And June completely sees through this. There's, there's no question to that. But at some point, she starts drinking that Kool-Aid again tonight. And I was really disappointed to see that. I mean, June's main goal for this whole setup, if she can, she wants to have a hospital. So they don't have to be the traveling hospital. They can try and get the people there. And then she can treat them there, be stable, not be so chaotic. I mean, it's a great idea. But, you know, Virginia's not having it, really. But things change when Virginia and June are trying to do a little desperate maneuver to maneuver the uh, zombies away from the truck as they're trying to get away. They basically have to make it into one of the, the small shacks that were inside the gas complex and another huge explosion nails, which was a badass explosion, I must say. You got to give it points just for that. that. I mean, we were looking at it like, I bet the crew guys were like, hell yeah, you know, roast Satan's balls on this one. I mean, it was pretty cool. Just getting crazy in there. And it also basically knocks June and Virginia temporarily unconscious. And uh, they start to wake up. And, you know, the next thing we see, there's a zombie on top of Virginia. And, you know, at times with these shows, you just never really know. It's like, oh, is it just another zombie encounter? Are they just going to roll him off and stab him? But that damn thing starts biting into her hand. And I'm like, oh, yes, finally some more you know realism to this show because this is how it probably would go down it's not going to be every time oh i managed to get my knife and i get my gun and i shoot it in the head and so uh she gets bitten and i'm just like oh my god you know the thing where i was hoping would happen well happened just a little sooner than i thought was going to happen and you know june she finally kind of comes through and she's looking at her and i'm like well you got to take the hand right i'm sure when any of you screaming at the, at the tv like we got to take her hand off I was, okay. I mean, not that I wanted to save uh, Virginia. No, I don't. But I'm just like, it's it's the Walking Dead lore. You know, you're just like, oh, you got to take the hand. You know, you can you can still live, you know, for those that have that information. And June, she kicks the axe away. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do that for you. So she's basically, June's basically going to let her die. And, uh, and for good reason. We all know why. But of course, she, you know, Virginia starts in with this sob story about it's all for my sister. And, you know, I... She loves her, but it's more like I did love her at least, you know, before everything got so convoluted and crazy and she just wanted to keep her safe and it became a much bigger thing. Listen, you know, situations happen and I kind of feel bad for a tiny, tiny bit, but it's still, you know, your actions define who you are and so what you do. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. And what she's been doing is just awful to all of our friends and all the other people and treating them the way she does. So, you know, it's a fine line. It's kind of like Negan's world. I mean, was Negan really the bad guy or did he really did he really have things, you know, tied up? Did he know what was going on? And this is the way things have to be ruled to keep things orderly. 
it can be argued but uh but june she ends up she takes that drink of that kool-aid and she's hooked once again she grabs the axe and she hacks off the hand right so virginia as of the moment is saved and uh in return june is asked for a, a hospital to be built which virginia is completely in her power to do it's definitely possible but here and then lies another huge problem june gets outside and she's all super excited and obviously you know Virginia is distraught this and that but we're gonna see what happens with her we'll see I love to do you think Virginia can change do you think she can see the light after this near-death experience being this close to death is she gonna turn in you know to somebody who's gonna save her people from this doomsday cult or is she just as still as bad as ever and uh, and I honestly I don't know I'm kind of going back and forth on it I, I think she's got potential to turn but it's almost like do we care do we care enough about her but I think I think it's possible she might turn into someone decent trying to do the right thing. Let's see if I eat my own words on that one. I don't know. Let me know what you think on the comments. But um, but we see June run over to John and oh, poor John. I mean, talk about wounded already, you know. And like I said, he's just it's eating him from on the inside of what happened to Janice and everything else. And he wants June to go with her, but he can already see she doesn't want to go. And she even tells him, "I don't want to go, John. I want to start this hospital. I'm tired of being on the run. Bad things happen every time." Which she is not wrong. Every time they move, another set of bad stuff just happens, and it's fully understandable. But poor John, he's, you can tell he's just like, "Okay, okay." And she goes, "You'll follow us," and I'm like. June, he's not going to follow you. And that was a great shot, great scene, the top down as uh, you see the big rig and then John's truck just behind and they come to that fork in the road and he starts to turn and just goes off. I was just like, oh, what a great scene, you know, and, and then they do a close up inside and he's, he's heading off. So hoping that John is going to run into obviously our friends Morgan and everybody else so they can start coming back together. But I mean, God, does John even really want it? Maybe he just wants to go back to being alone. I mean, isn't that the crazy thing in an apocalypse? You strive and you want for nothing more than to have companionship and have people that maybe maybe you can trust or love and, and be there for you. But in the end, watching them die and being taken from you, I know, deep thought, Mike. Ah. But but I mean, being alone is almost easier. It's almost it's almost easier not to care about anybody. It it just takes too much out of us. I mean, that's a great question. Let's pose to the people who have stuck in this long. I know this, we're getting about time here. What would you do? Would you rather be on your own or would you rather have people with you? I've never posed this question. I'm going to pose it again in the next one because I asked it so late in the episode. I want to make sure we get more comments on the next one. But start letting me know. What would you do? Would you want to stay on your own as long as you can or would you want to try and grab people and, you know, and maybe a small colony or furthermore would you want to be part of a bigger colony kind of like the governor had or negan had or whatever obviously those are not the most ideal situations but would you rather be in a large crowd would that make you feel more safe me myself uh, and irene right here uh i would want a small knit close group of my uh, closest friends or family and i know even bad things can happen there but I, I, I would want that. I feel that we could work together well. I think being on your own, there's no way to go. Uh, I think it's going to get you killed in the end anyways. It's always good to have that backup right next to you at times when you can. And uh, it would be tough. It would be tough seeing those, those people die around you. But... Uh, man, being alone, that's something else. So anyways, that's it with the deep thought for Mike uh, on Z-Man's show for tonight. But this was a solid episode, guys. Season 6, uh, very, very well done so far. I mean, and I shouldn't say so far. We're at mid-season. Next week is the mid-season finale. So make sure to tune in. We'll talk about what happens. I have a feeling there's going to be a couple crazy things. I don't expect anybody really to get killed off, at least not big-time characters. But... We're going to have to see what happens with John. Is he going to meet up with our friends? Uh, what's Morgan and the other crew up to? Or are they getting ready to make their move on Virginia? Anyways, a lot of interesting things are going to happen. And also, think about this too. What if Virginia does decide to start doing the right thing for once? To, to do right for her people? And meanwhile, Morgan and all them are getting ready to a, like attack, you know? Oh, and furthermore, um, don't forget about um, Dwight's girl. Is she going to basically get her crew? And they're going to attack. Oh, I mean, this this could be some problems. Let's see if any of my predictions here come true. I don't know. They probably won't, but it'd be interesting if they did. So thanks for joining in. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this small talk on Fear of the Walking Dead. Make sure to come back in about an hour, hour and a half or so, world beyond. Guys, bite my tongue, smack me in the face. It was a decent episode. It was. I can't believe it. <laughs>
uh, there was a, a woman, uh, Elena, thanks for telling me. Uh, she came out to the channel and she said, hey, I don't know what happened, but one of the episodes, I guess episode seven released early and she said, this episode was actually really good. And I was like, now I'm not saying like nine really good, but it's 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 more than like the 4.5, 5.5 I've been given pretty much every episode since the beginning. Um, anyways, it, it gives, like I said, it gives me solid hope for the show. Oh, I hope. Anyways, so thanks for joining in. And guys, I will catch you at the next review. See ya.